Who would have ever thought that the six foot five hoop sensation that hardly got any recognition coming out of high school would be one of the better players from the 2020 NBA draft class. Now this is a player who's really been through a lot throughout his journey to the pros. And while many may have counted him out, over the years, it's only fueled him to be the best version of himself. And because of that, he's been a positive effect on every single one of the teams he's played on. This is the Desmond Bain story. Desmond Bain was born on June 25th, 1998 in Richmond, Indiana. And coming up, he had a bit of a tough upbringing in a single parent family home. Desmond, his mother, and his sister often moved around until finally settling in with his great grandparents. I'm an old soul. Um, I got a lot of life lessons that other people may not get and I carry that on my shoulders. And uh, I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm capable of doing whatever I want to do thanks to them. And from a young age, Desmond would just begin to fall in love with sports. And he really focused on baseball until eighth grade since his grandfather was the coach on the local team. Bain would attend the Seton Catholic High School, which was a small private school in Richmond. His passion for basketball would just continue to grow and would develop a sense of urgency to really develop his skills over the years. And by the time his senior season rolled around, Bain averaged a state high 30 points, 12 rebounds, six assists, and three blocks per game. He would also score a school record of 62 points in nine threes in a win over Lincoln Senior High School. He would go on to be named MVP of the Wedding Memorial Holiday Tournament. Over his four-year career, he scored a total of 1,991 points, surpassing 1988 Indiana Mr. Basketball winner Woody Austin for the most in Wayne County history. Now, despite his crazy emergence, the six-foot-five wing still was unranked on the top major recruiting services and had only had a few offers and he decided to play college basketball at TCU and throughout his time there he was the true definition of a workhorse. Now Bain would earn Big 12 Newcomer of the Week honors after scoring 18 points and pulling down seven rebounds against Bradley but he even showed up clutch despite being only a freshman as he had 16 points including three free throws with two seconds remaining to help TCU defeat the number one ranked team in the nation. Kansas in the quarterfinals of the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship and ended his first year at TCU winning the NIT, contributing nine points in the title game against Georgia Tech. As a sophomore, he came even harder as he scored a season high 27 points in a victory over Iowa State. And throughout that season, he shot 47% from three. Now, as a junior, Bain was named to the second team all Big 12. He would also have a career high, putting up 34 points in a team's regular season final against Texas and scored 30 points versus Nebraska in the second round of the NIT. For that year, he averaged 15 points a contest while also adding six rebounds per game. And following the season, he tested the waters of the NBA draft but returned to TCU. He would go from averaging seven points as a freshman to 17 points a game in his senior season. He would play a total of 141 games for the Horn Frogs, averaging 13 points and five rebounds a game. Now, as a senior, Bain was named to the first team All Big 12. And before he knew it, he was already regarded as one of the best shooters in all of college basketball with 43% shooting from three. That was all good enough to lead the Big 12. On March 2nd, 2020, Bain was named Big 12 Player of the Week after scoring 23 points in an upset over second-ranked Baylor. Now, at this point in time, he was on his share of draft boards as a projected late first round to second round pick. And just like that, he entered the 2020 NBA Draft. The 30th pick Hello? 2020 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Desmond Bain. <laughs> He became the first TCU player to be picked in the first round since Kirk Thomas in 1995. But Bain would actually be traded to the Memphis Grizzlies for a future pick. And little did anybody know that he would be a perfect piece to put around John Moran. 
who had just came off of a pretty exceptional rookie season. Now Desmond came in and immediately filled in that empty spot at the shooting guard position. In year one, he maintained averages of nine points, three rebounds, and two assists per game while shooting 46% from the field and 43% from behind the three-point line. That was the highest three-point field goal percentage in a rookie season since no other than Stephen Curry. Now in year two, he was already a regular starter for his crew. He finished that year maintaining averages of 18 points, four rebounds, on 44% shooting from deep and ranked 11th in the league with three made three pointers a game and that was a big help in the grizzlies finishing second in the western conference with a 56 and 26 overall record now in the opening playoff round it would face the minnesota timberwolves and despite him being in his first playoff series he did not disappoint in game four of the series bane went off going for 34 points and even hit 27 three-pointers in the whole series which set a new grizzlies record and as they made it to the second round versus the Warriors, they were determined to really cause havoc and make it extremely tough for the experienced playoff team. But after Ja went out with an injury, they would unfortunately lose in a six game series. Coming into year three, Bane was already regarded as one of the best shooters in the league. Now he would suffer a right foot injury and was sidelined for over a month, but he returned back into action earlier than expected. And as Morant was sidelined due to different reasons, Bane in a way took over the leading role. He ended the season maintaining averages of 22 points, five rebounds and four assists a game on 41 percent shooting from three the postseason was where he made even more strides despite his crew losing in six games to the los angeles lakers in game four of the series bane simply went off for a career playoff high 36 points the next game he put up 33 points and 10 rebounds and although his team did go down he ultimately won in the free agency as the grizzlies signed him to a max extension of a 200 million dollars contract at just the age of 25 years old and so far coming into the 2023-24 season he has been able to take matters in his own hands by averaging a career high 25 points five assists and five rebounds now on december 6 he put up a career high going off for 49 points in a win versus the pistons from falling under the radar in high school to becoming a vital piece to the Memphis Grizzlies, Desmond Bain has come a long way in every single year. The 25-year-old has just seemed to add to his game. It's good. I mean, I don't think that you can get um, to where you want to go if you're if you're not humbled along the journey. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's part of the process and having for so um, the journey's never necessarily going to be perfect. Um, but as long as you're learning something along the way and uh, putting your best foot forward every day, we're giving ourselves a fighting chance. So. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Desmond Bain story.